<clears throat> well good morning everyone i know it's still dark i've been waiting a while but i'm itching to go fishing i think i've got enough light to start recording i'm gonna do a little bass fishing this morning on the beautiful Osceola river it's been a few weeks since i come down here and fished it the level looks perfect it's been flooded and kind of high it's going down fishing should be good Bad little bass, check that out. Look at that tail. I ain't never seen nothing quite like that. Get my old pliers out. This is pretty typical of these little river bass. Short, fat, and stubby, like me. Nice red breast sunfish. Bad news for him today is I got a cooler. Another little carbon copy chunky old river bass.
hope y'all can hear me with all the wind. I just decided to clean outside today since it's quick and easy to clean up after the fact. And uh, the wind has picked up like crazy. But we'll clean a couple of these bass up real quick. And then we'll cook our recipe tonight. So uh, just like all do all my other fish, come in behind the peck fin. Cut back up toward the head. Cut down. Come back in and run my knife along the backbone. Lift that fillet up and just keep working my knife down along the backbone until I make contact with the ribs. Then lift up and start coming up and over those ribs. There's a set of pin bones you've got to cut through. I just follow those ribs down to the belly. Cut your fillet off. All right, grab a hold of the tail, cut down till you touch the skin. And just work your knife forward, keeping slight downward pressure. That's a pretty good size fillet off of that small bass. Nice, thick, really good meat. Now right here along that lateral line, they have a set of pin bones. So I'll come in on either side of that about halfway down the fillet. Cut those out. Now we got a nice boneless fillet. All right, I went ahead and whipped up a marinade here. Instead of showing you all the uh, ingredients and mixing, I'll just go ahead and read those off to you real quick. But what I put in was a tablespoon of olive oil, a fresh squeezed lime, three quarters of a cup of Chardonnay, a tablespoon of dry mustard, uh, half a stick of melted butter, I did two tablespoons of chili powder, a teaspoon of pepper, quarter teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of chopped parsley. Fresh parsley is a little better, but honestly, I don't know that parsley gives it a whole lot of flavor. So now that I've got this marinade whipped up here, I went ahead and poured all the water off my fish. I've been letting them soak since I cleaned them this morning. I'll pour this over them, let them marinate. Usually 15 to 30 minutes is good enough. And then we'll actually pour this marinade back in to help make our sauce so we're not going to dispose of this later. Can increase these ingredients if you're going to have more fish but you just want to make sure that they get covered looks like those are covered quite well so like i said i'll stick them back in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes and then i'll meet you outside of the grill i forgot to mention that typically i do zatarain's dirty rice with this which takes about 30 minutes to boil so about 15 or so minutes into the fish marinating I don't mind go ahead and boil that, but today I'm going to do a little bit lazier route and do what's similar to a dirty rice. Got peppers and spices in it and black beans. This is the uh, 90 seconds and you're done. So this is a real quick, easy meal. Other than a couple of these ingredients, chances are you have everything that you need here. But this is just another one of those meals that tastes amazing. Uh, does not require much time at all. Actually, this is probably Tiffany's favorite meal that I make. And I may have already done it on the channel before, but you're going to see it today. You're going to see it more often because uh, we absolutely love doing fish this way. And so many different kinds of fish work in a dish like this. But it goes great over some sort of dirty rice or rice with peppers and black beans. All right, we're cooking outside, so excuse the noise. But all I've done is just taken the fish out of the bowl. Tried to save as much as the marinade in the bowl as I could. I'm gonna cook them till they're white all the way through, flip them one time. And once I think they're cooked, I'll go ahead and pour the remainder of the marinade in from the bowl, let it come to a simmer. That way there's no alcohol in there and it's burnt off. And then it's ready to serve. Very simple dish and probably one of the best tasting dishes for as quick as it is. 
All right, I've went ahead and flipped the fish once. They're cooking mostly all the way through. So I'm gonna take the remainder of this marinade, pour it over the fish. Let that come back to a simmer. And we're ready to serve. Go ahead and warm our rice up. Here we go is the best part. You can see I've just let the fish simmer. And I call it a sauce, but it's not a sauce. Just let that thicken up just a little. Make sure the fish was cooked all the way through. Rice come out good. We'll try it. I don't know how well it tastes just yet. Just take you a nice piece of fish and put it on there. You see how white and flaky this bass is just falling apart. So good. Definitely get you some of that. Sauce, juice, whatever you want to call it. Put it all on your rice. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. And there y'all go. I'm telling you, this is to be so simple, it is so good. Nice. I still need to try this, uh, the rice. Normally I boil it, and if this is good, it takes 90 seconds in the microwave. This is one of the quickest meals I can give you that tastes great, other than just straight frying fish. But we'd much rather have a meal like this than fried fish. <laughs> hey, wish I could put that on there. If you hadn't said that, I, I probably would've put that in there for a little blooper. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna give this a shot after we say a quick blessing, but uh, again, appreciate y'all watching. Thank you so much. This is definitely one of Tiffany's favorite meals. Let me speak for you now, don't be shy. Speak to the camera. I'm ready to eat it because I love this meal and I look forward to eating it. And it's a little late in the afternoon. Excuse <laughs> the mess, we're eating in the shop again. You know, if you follow the channel, you know we're living in a camper right now while we build our house, so we wouldn't have it any other way. So we're, we're thankful to have what we got, so. We're going to say a quick blessing, try this. I already know the meal is going to be good, other than if the rice is not. But we're going to find that out right now. Alright, let's dig in. Let's give it a shot. Just like I remember it. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> I mean, really, it's great. And it's such a simple meal, especially with this rice. I'll probably do this rice from here on out, but if you got time, boil the Zatarain's box up. It's cheaper is about the only reason to do that. 90 second rice in the microwave. Fish doesn't take no time. Chances are you have the majority of these ingredients other than the wine or maybe your lime. Luckily, we have lime trees that are loaded, so we just pick one right off. But Tastes, tastes great. I don't know how to compare it to anything. It's kind of an Italian slash Mexican theme. I, I don't know with the lime, but then the wine. It's like a Thai. I mean, I don't, I don't know how. To, we haven't ventured out into too many like yeah. different. It's hard to explain. Cultures, but definitely keeping the little bottles. Like that's what we do with the wine. That way you have that on hand. Mm -hmm. It's easier that way. That way you're not like wasting. And and y'all may not drink wine. That's okay. But cook with it. It. it it's a crazy flavor that I don't know how to explain. So if you like a lot of Italian, the wine goes great. But then again, you got the lime, the chili powder. It's a good meal, one of our favorites. Definitely probably her favorite that I cook, but one of my top favorites. Again, thank you all for watching. We appreciate it. Got more videos coming out. Thanks.